Hi, this is Glenda. I thought I'd try an idea that was in uh, Australian Paper Craft Essentials number 34, which I think is from 2014, and that's stamping with lemon juice. Uh, I thought that's a bit different. We used to use lemon juice as invisible ink as kids, and here's the same idea exactly. Um, so uh, you just put some lemon juice on a paper towel and um, stamp it and heat it. So I'll show you how to I did that. To create this technique, I've just got um, a few pieces of paper towel in a bowl with some lemon juice. And um, you're just going to use it exactly like a stamp pad. And stamp down. And then you heat it. So the idea is that you're actually burning the lemon juice. Uh, so it actually takes quite a while um, and it's quite hot so if you can avoid holding your paper so much the better. I've got it on my um, heat resistant craft mat um, and at the moment it, we're having quite a hot summer in Australia so you have to pick your day for this one. I won't speed this up. My hot heat gun has been in use to do this for 10-15 minutes probably, so it's quite hot. Um, and just to give you an idea, it takes a lot longer than embossing. But you just keep going till you've got the desired level of brown. The images are not going to be sharp. Um, the whole thing is a very distressed look. Um, some stamps are going to come up better than others. You are not going to get any kind of sharp detail, but this is sort of coming up now. You can sort of see that there's a butterfly. And it is a very distressed butterfly anyway. It's um, off It's off this stamp set, so it's a very blobby butterfly anyway. That's probably about as, as dark as I've been getting it. So then when I'd finished I um, put a little bit of Distress Ink around the edges uh, just to give it some definition and shaded a tiny bit here. Um, oh. If I try and go closer I get strobing. So we'll go with non-strobing. Um, yeah, so I just finished them off. Um, as you can see, you don't get a lot of definition, but it's a lovely distressed look. And uh, so these are the three cards I made up with with my little test pieces. Um, and it's just a bit of something different and a bit of fun. You might be able to get a similar look with um, distress inks or something, but I think on the whole they would look more distinct. Um, and I think this just gives it a something different. Uh, so that's what I've done today. Thanks for watching.